Hi everyone, welcome to MSCR Makes. I'm Miss Julia and today we'll be doing ice cube painting. This project will be done in two parts. The first part is making the ice cubes. Then you will need to put them in your freezer and wait for them to freeze. The second part is painting. For this project, you'll need some water, some aluminum or tin foil, some toothpicks, if you don't have toothpicks, you could use popsicle sticks, straws, or even some sticks that you find in your yard. You'll need some food coloring, some paper, and then to freeze all of your ice cubes, you can use an ice cube tray. I don't have an ice cube tray, but a mini muffin tin will work just as well, or even a small little cup or bowl. I'll wait so you can pause the video and gather all of your supplies. Now that you've had a chance to gather your supplies, I'm going to move some things out of the way so that we have some room to work. So the first thing is freezing your ice cubes. Remember, you can use an ice cube tray, a whole bunch of little bowls, a whole bunch of little cups, or even some of these. These are little takeout containers. I'll show you using this mini muffin tray I have. The first thing that you want to do is pour some water. Depending on how many ice cubes that you want to make to paint with, that's how many you'll need to fill up with some water. So now that I have some of my mini muffin trays filled up with water, I'm going to decide what colors I would like. I think I'll make a blue one. So I'll just drop in a few drops of blue. The more food coloring you add, the more vibrant the colors will be. Next, I'll make a red one. And I think I'll make a green one too. After you've added your colors, you'll want to grab your toothpicks or popsicle sticks or even sticks from your yard and go ahead and mix the food coloring into the water. You can use the same stick for all of them. I also filled my muffin tin kind of high. You do not have to fill yours as high up as this. The next thing that you'll do is grab your aluminum foil. You'll take out a sheet that's big enough to cover up your muffin tin. Go ahead and wrap the tin so that you have a layer of aluminum foil on the top. Now, if you press a little bit, you can see where each of the little muffin tins are. Use your toothpick to carefully poke a hole in each one. This is how you're gonna be able to hold onto the ice once it is frozen. The next thing that you need to do is put this whole thing in your freezer. It's going to take a few hours to freeze everything maybe even overnight. In the meantime, you could practice doing some watercolors on a regular sheet of paper with regular watercolors so that you can tell the difference and see which one you like better. I'm going to go put this one in my freezer. Now, you can pause the video here and when you come back, hopefully all of your ice cubes will be frozen. I made up a few ahead of time so that I could show you right now. Here are my ice cubes that I've frozen. They're melting a little bit, but that's okay. I made these ones inside of some little cups. If you have trouble getting your ice cubes out of your ice cube tray or whatever else you froze them in, try putting a little bit of hot water in the bottom of your sink and then setting your cups or ice cube tray in there. It will help melt just a little bit of the outside and then you should be able to pop them up very easily. So I'm gonna take my piece of paper 
and use some of my new ice cube watercolors. So you can experiment drawing different lines or try using the edge and see if you can get some that are bigger sides. And if you use the corner, it will make smaller lines. Have fun experimenting on several different pieces of paper and see what cool designs you can come up with. This one's kind of abstract, but you could even make things that aren't like a smiley face. Well, I hope you enjoy this project. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.